All right, Bezrat Hashem. So we continue the 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 Agdama of Mechal Kodesh. So in last shiur, uh, we we spoke about the the uh, Ishtal Sheluyot, right? How the Sirot were created, how the worlds were created, the different worlds were created, and the, the Rambam Elbaz says that uh, everything he he uh, he put in front of us is basically a Zohar. The Zohar is in Parish Parashat Bo. It starts at the end of Daf Mem Bet Amud Bet Daf Mem Gimel Amud Alef, and the Zohar goes there to explain also how Akadosh Baruch Hu has no midot, has no values, and asur to come to uh, to relate him to values. Uh, and that he's he's separated from everything, and he had the desire to uh, to share of his or with the world. So he took of his or, and then from his or was created the keter. The keter was created the, the yud, which is the chokma. The chokma from the chokma then came the bina, and then the rashim were then the head the mohin was there, and then it it split into seven midot: chesed, gvura, tiferet, netzavod, yesod. Finally, for the Mahut to receive everything. And the Zohar gives an example. It says if you have, you know, in, in, uh, 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 inside the earth, you have water. Now, the water, nobody can see it. Nobody can see it. You don't see it. But, and then you make a hole. And you make a little hole. And then suddenly, you tap into that water, right? And then you make a bigger hole. And now you have a, you have a well. And if the, the, you make a, a, a big enough of a hole, you have a sea, right? And then that separate, and then you, you start making him, uh, you know, splitting that sea into different directions. And now you have rivers. He says the same thing. You cannot, you cannot relate to him. You cannot compare. It's like as if you walk on the earth and you don't even know what's on the, on, uh, under the earth. Yet once, the Akadosh Baruch Hu give you Allow that hole to be made. He made the hole, which is the 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 yud, yeah, the little yud. So it, the hole is a, a, a good, it's a hole, it's round, it's it starts with something tiny, like the yud. And then he made a bigger hole, which is the binar, okay, which is the binar. And then after that, he split it into seven neavot, which are the 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 seven the seven uh, uh Sefirot, the seven Sefirot. That's the Zohar Kadosh. You can see it, like I said, in Raya Memna, Parashat Bo, Daf Mem Gimel. Uh, it goes in depth. Then, then after after that, he, the the the, the Echad Kadosh brings another Zohar that basically shows the interaction after Hakadosh Baruch Hu created a structure and a system between him. And 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 men, and the parallelism between men him, between Akadosh Baruch Hu, Kiviachol, for us to understand, that. like from Akadosh Baruch Hu and the spiritual worlds, and you, the, the physical world and, and humanity, and he says the Zohar says that uh, the 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 reason why Akadosh Baruch Hu did that he he created two parallel worlds that are superposed one on top of the other. An impact and influence in the other is for humans, for Am Israel, for people to understand what's going on and what he's expecting from us. If there was no correlation and indications, all we would be robots, and then there's no point for the creation, or we wouldn't be able to understand what's flying. We wouldn't have no indication of how to serve Hashem and what's out there. So, in order to reveal His will. And the purpose of creation, he created this parallelism. It's extremely important to understand that because everything is based and starts from that. That Akashwa who created the system, Adam Kadmon, right? Adam Kadmon, remember Salo, yeah, in uh, the fundamentals of Emunah, Adam Kadmon, yeah. you know, the blueprint of man, right? And based on that blueprint, he created the world. Mm -hmm. Very good. So for what purpose? The Zohar says, in order for us to understand him, 
understand his will and serve our purpose on this planet, on, on, on this world. Good? Now, yep. in order to do that, says, says the Zohar, not only that Kadosh Baruch Hu created a, a, a parallelism and a comparison between the two worlds, right? And he copied, paste, give you from the spiritual world to physical world. But he gave the control on the superficial world to the physical world. Because in order to impact and to bring creation to where Kadosh Baruch Hu wants, it's through the Olam Ruhani, through the spiritual world, through the world of uh, Kedusha, right? So he gave to humanity, he gave to Am Yisrael the ability to impact the spiritual world so that this world, which is a spiritual world, can get to where it's supposed to be, where HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants it to be, and where the, uh, and, and, and not where, but, and, and, and serve the purpose of the creation of, uh, of the Olamot for HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And now he goes into it a little bit more. Uh, that we were in page uh, 59, right? We're going to go back to it. After he's explaining, he quotes the Zohar. Uh, he said that uh, he brings that, and, and how, how they give a man the koach through the tefillah, right? By praying, by praying to Akalosh Baruch Hu, you, you tap into the Olamot Ayunim, right? You, you do an action in this world. You trigger something in the physical world, and that beracha, whatever you're triggering in the, in the spiritual world, comes down and influences the physical world. So your impact on the physical world comes from your impact on the spiritual world. Good. Yeah. Okay. So he says. Right, the Elyonim and the Tachtonim are aligned one on top of the other. Akadosh Baruch Hu created a special, in the, a special uh, Min Ha'adam, right? The same way we have, we have what, what's important, what's special, and what's miyuhad, okay, in the Olama Elyon, in the Olama Tachton also. He created Adam. He created men. And Akadosh Baruch Hu gave to all the, 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 the to all humanity, all the cohort of the of spirituality. How is that? So he says he gave the, the, the major control to Adam. And then we have seven sefirot. Okay. When he took the, all the cohort, the spiritual cohort, there are 70, sorry, the 70 uh, angels that sit around him. So he gave to each, to each koach, he gave a people, a nation, so that the, the nation can help that Malach service its, pur its purpose. Again, so you have the Malach, and in order for the Malach, for the Sah, for that uh, prince, for that ambassador, whatever we, we call it, that power, right? That is, it's a Malach, but uh, to, to, to serve its purpose, he created a people, and by the actions of the people, now the Malach can serve its purpose. And he brings an example. He brings an example. The Esav, Ish Sade, Yodeat Said, right? You know that Esav was a hunter. He was, you know, he had no problem killing. And uh, we know that it's Esav, okay? Esav is a representative of who? Of the Samech Mem, of the Malach that takes away life, right? So how? 
does the Samech Mem evolve in creation by the, the behavior of Esav? The more Esav Ubanav, the more the descendants of Esav kill, the more it gives power to the Samech Mem. Now, what happens is that all the 70 nations, all the 70 Sarim, the 70 angels, right? If the Umot, if the people, those nations kill and misbehave and follow Aesab, so they all fall under the power and the, 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 the control of, of the Samech Mem. Now, after all this, Akadosh Baruch Hu retained, retained one Uma, one of the nations that he, uh, he created, and that for himself to counterbalance the wickedness uh, of humanity is Am Israel. Okay? And that he did through the Midat Atiferet. Am Israel, Uma Kedosha Vetora, Vechol Uma Mewa Umot Tavol Lahem Nefesh Haya. So, how did he create? How did he create the, the, the Umot? He gave them, he gave to all the nations, to all humanity, a Nefesh. A nefesh. Only that al piya kabbalah. We know that there's a, there's a few versions. There's a machloket. Uh, if if Hakadosh Baruch Hu gave only a nefesh to the goyim, we gave them nefesh wachun shama. And if it's a neshama, is it neshama a normal neshama or is it nishmat Israel? Okay. So, but here according to the the, the Echad Hakodesh, Hakadosh Baruch Hu gave only a nefesh to all humanity. And that's how they live on this planet. And that's the, how they influence the, the angels, right? The, seven, the 70 Umot, the 70 nations. By the way, it's, it's very important to understand that because on Sukkot, when we, we read the Kriyat Torah, we refer to the 70 nations, right? The 70 Parim that we bring, the Korbanot that we bring on Sukkot is for the 70 nations, right? So it's very important to understand that. To understand that, so, so there is, the, the, you have 70 sarim, you have 70 angels, right? And then Akalosh Baruch Hu, in order to, influence, to, have, to bring these angels to, to completion of their purpose, he created 70 nations. And he gave the 70 nations a nefesh haya, right? A nefesh, which is the spiritual influx of the will of Hashem, of, of, this, of the, the, this physical people, whatever nations to exist. And that's how they serve their purpose. So their purpose is not Ba'olamazeh, their purpose is to serve the, the, the Malach that's up there, not the other way around, right? It's not that the Malach helps us, it's we help the Malach. Okay, not we, but uh, the, the Goyim, yeah. Then, then HaKadosh Baruch Hu added, added, V'anachnu chelek shemo evdilanu nishmo. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave to Am Yisrael also a nefesh, but that nefesh and what differentiates in the core essence Am Yisrael from the rest of humanity is that he gave the nefesh from the Shekhinah itself, from his presence itself. So for that reason, for that reason, okay, if the nefesh, the ne nefesh Israel, and we're not talking about the Ruach on yet, we're talking about the nefesh, meaning that the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu that translates itself into physicality in Am Israel is completely different than the rest of humanity, which means al Kabbalah, that the rules of nature that applies on the Umot does not necessarily apply on Am Israel, which makes we said that with Abraham when he was, uh, look at the stars. Yes. We said that with Abraham when he says, look at the stars, you're not supposed to have kids. And then Hashem says, we don't believe that's in Mazalot right. and all that. That's, that's, exact, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. So what do we see, what do we learn from this? We learn from this, that when Dabar Gadol Meod, which is a tremendous also source of Emunah and Chizuk, 
is that we don't belong to the to the ratios and we don't belong to the statistics. Okay. Simply because the statistics are made on a certain type of nefesh, and we are a completely different type of nefesh. Right? You cannot compare apples and, and, and cucumbers. It doesn't work. You know, and you know this uh, this uh, military. Uh, 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 the, the number one military uh, training camp in the United States called West Point. And they trained all the soldiers based on previous wars um, so that they learned from what happened in previous wars. And they never brought up any war of Israel. They never brought the, the Six Day War. They never brought 1948, nothing. So there was a Jewish soldier that stood up. This is not fair. That you always bring all these uh, wars in, in, in Russia and France and you never bring anything about Israel. This is because the wars in Israel are not normal. The way that the Israelis won is, is divine. It's not a war mm. strategy. They have some, like. uh, some, so, some blessing that we cannot explain in West Point because Hazak. it will never work for the United States. Hazak. 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 So imagine, imagine that that Siyata is not only felt, it's not only realize or it doesn't manifest itself only by the neshama. The hidush is that it manifests itself even in the source of the nefesh. So when all the nefeshot, the nefesh haya that's given into all, all the individuals come from, for, for the purpose of the malach, the nefesh haya of Am Yisrael comes from the purpose of the shechina itself. is a piece of HaKadosh Baruch Hu himself. That's the nefesh, that's the nefesh. Then Akadosh Baruch Hu added a second koach to Am Yisrael. It's called koach in Vehu Ruach. And that, so we, the, the nefesh comes from the Shekhinah. The Shekhinah we say is the Malchut, right? Is the Malchut from Ammonai. So the nefesh comes from Adnut, from Ammonai. The Ruach comes from the Tiferet Israel. He comes from Yudke Vavke. And then he gave us, on top of that, a third layer, which, call, which is called the Neshama. And the Neshama comes from the Midata Bina. Comes from the Bina. So our, our, our buildup is made, of, is made of the Nefesh, that is Adnut. The the Ruach that is Havaya, the Tiferet, and the Bina that is, and, and the, the Neshama that comes from the Bina. And that's Hashem Elohim, right? Nachon? Hashem and Yudke Vavke Elohim, that's the Bina. So, says Ve'e Chala Kodesh, when a person respects and believes and puts forward the Kedusha, the Shekhinah that is in his body, Ushmartem Me'od in Afshotechem, this is why you have to take care of your body, and this is why also you have to. Uh, to respect your body, you're not allowed to put kakua, you're not allowed to put uh, to, to mutilate yourself, you're not allowed to cut yourself, you're not allowed to change your body, you're not allowed to uh, to uh, to put uh, tattoos, yeah, all these. How things. come women? How come? How come women put uh, piercing on their ears? If you're not allowed. That's the no. That's the no. That's for the no of the isha. That's the no of the isha. Like like the avadim, they they would the, the, the avadim also every israel also. But they put uh, they put the, the earring. That's a no. So you say not allowed. I thought you say not allowed. So the, when there is a purpose to it, the Torah gave you certain purposes, right? Like if a man pierces his ear, it's because now he's showing that he's a servant, right? He's, he's he, beca he became a heaven, right? It has a sign to it. It has a sign to it. for for the shmia for the, the woman. They they wear the, the the jewelry, and that's for the purpose of their beauty in the eyes of their husband, okay? But the actual body, and, and there's many answers to that. Why, why, why women don't do all the mitzvot I say? Because they are, they are on much a higher level and they're a better version than the, 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 the version of men, right? Okay. okay? So 
de, 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 By, put, by putting forward the Kedusha of the Nefesh through the name Amonai, Adnut, the person brings out the Shekhinah that's in his body. When he, when he he's careful and he's Mekadesh, his Ruach, his instinct, his emotions, like we saw, yeah? The Ruach in the Rambam many times, right? Salo, we saw it in uh, mm -hmm. many places, right? When, when, uh, when the person over, over, overcomes, he becomes a Gibor. He gives, he follows the Midat Emet, right? So he's Mekadesh, he's Ruach, right? And that's through the Shem Havaya. So when, every time there's Yud Ke Vav Ke, when you say Baruch Atah Hashem, right? What are we doing? We are awaking the Shem Yud Kevavke that lights on to Avuach, but we are crystallizing it by the wording of Amonai into the in, into our physical essence, into our body. You understand? So when you you do make a bracha of Bore Periites, for example, what you're doing is that you're connecting yourself to the Ruach, to the purpose, to the Ta'ava, right? You're Mekadesh the desire. Of eating of whatever it is, but you're connecting yourself to the adnut, to the nefesh of that thing, and then you can eat it, right? So now what what you're doing is that you're aligning the nefesh with the ruach together. Beautiful. And finally, finally, when you have the kavana, when you have the kavana, which is the bina, right? Now you're aligned, you create. You, you, the, the three level ne, you, you, now you have the nefesh war and shama by connecting the the shekhina the malchut the tif eret and the bina why the that. bina because the bina is the the connecting point between the mohin right and the the seven the seven midot right we have keter chokma bina and then we have chesed gevura tif eret etza so the connecting point between the chasadim, the seven, the seven sefirot, and the mohin is the bina, and that's how you have the ohel that is. That now you have a full pipeline that is aligned. So bina is a kavana. Bina is a kavana of the beracha. Is that what you said? Yes, yes. Think about it. What is bina? Bina is the clarification and reorganization. Of the information of, and the, the flow of information of Chokhmah. Aha. Uh -huh. So if you don't understand it, the Chokhmah will not flow through. That's why the Kabbalah. No, no you can have Chokhmah, but you have that. That's why, that's why Bina is called Tavin. Can, can, Milashon also, Bone. You build. You build from, from, from a place of knowledge. You can have all the information, but if you don't have the Bina, you cannot build. Right. If you don't right. organize the information, you cannot build a, a, a project. So the bonnet, the binyan, the binyan, the, the, which is the, the uh, of the of the more of the mohim, is the bina, and the bina is the kavanah. The, well, my kavanah the, what, what does it mean? What, oh, here, listen. What does it mean, bina, to have kavanah to 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 to, to have clarity? Is reorganizing information, so in order to have clarity. So that you can get to something specific, right? You can get to your yad, to get to your point at the end, to, and and do that. what you need. That's the kavana. That's the whole That's point the of learning with you to understand it. Huh? That's the whole point of learning with you to understand what we're uh, doing. Yeah. So that's the bina. That's the bina. And that's how a person. So when a person makes a beracha or he does a mitzvah. With kavana, understanding the depth and to to each their own level of what the person is doing, so he's awakening Hashem Elokim, right? Yud Kevavke Elokim. He's aligning the neshama with the ruach, with the emotion, with the instinct, which is havaya, which is the tiferet, which is the ruach, and bringing it down to the nefesh, to the physicality, and that's how you open the pipeline and align the pipes. 
for the or for the light of and so of Akadosh Baruch Hu to come down and now shine around you. Can you leave a little bit of time for the parasha of the week before we hang up? And this is the purpose of Adam, he says. Okay, there is a ah now that's the purpose of man, and that's why and, and, and that's how man, that's how man is created to the image of the spiritual world, right? He built the sefirot. In the sefirot, we also have the head, Bina, Keter, the skull, Chokhmah Bina. Then we have in the back the art that we don't see, that we only tap into when we refer to it. Bina. Then you have right arm, Chesed, left arm, Gevura, the body, Tif Eret, right leg, Netzach, left head, le left leg, Hod, Brit Mila, Yesod, and the Malchut, the Keter, whatever is, is the is the uh, is the, the, the Atara of the of the Brit Mila. Now. Akadosh Baruch Hu create, now again created a spiritual world that need that needs to realize itself and gave uh, in, in order for the spiritual to world to realize itself he decided to create a physical world and give to human to Am Israel and to humanity the power to influence the 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 the, the spiritual world now Akadosh Baruch Hu again created all this but what's relative he, we're working hard and he wants to benefit us. He wants to give us also reward for the work and the dedication to serve him. Because at the end, all we're doing, we're serving him. Right? We're helping the, the creation to get to what Hashem wanted at the end and wants. So when we, each and every one, do our little piece. This is Olam Abba. This is Olam Abba. But in order to do that, in order to for for Akadosh Baruch Hu to to uh, to reward us for the work that we do, and for not being a work of a ro robotic work, he gave us what is called the bechira. He gave us the free will, the ability to choose what we want, and that's why we have on one end the kedusha, and that's why we have the tumah. That's why we have Israel, we have Yaakov, and that's why we have Esav on the other way. And the person chooses the, the right path. And by choosing the right path, right, he's serving the, 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 the Akadosh Baruch Hu by bringing closer to reality, to realization, Akadosh Baruch Hu's plan. So Akadosh Baruch Hu, sorry, so Akadosh Baruch Hu wants to reward us with Olam Abba. So this is Olam Abba. Olam Abba is a reward for helping him, Akadosh Baruch Hu, realize his plan. Now, how does that impact? And he says, very simple. If you do good things, you empower If you do the Sekhina, right? If you do wrong things, what do you empower the Samech Mem? Aisab. Right? And this is how we, we impact every action that we do, or we empower Aisab, or we empower Yaakov. Yaakov. Israel. Yeah. And he says, and, and, and with this, we're going to finish. He says, this is why Am Israel is so small. Why Am Israel is so small as a people and as a nation? Because we have the nefesh, ruachu, neshama. So we don't need volume. Humanity has nefesh, right? Has nefesh. So every time, every time they, they, they do an action, that's why they also don't have the Torah. Because they, they, they serve their purpose. And their and, and their sarim are under the influence of the Samechmen. 
So we, we, they, they sit in between the, the, the actions and the direction of Am Israel by, its, by, the, by our behavior to learn Midot and Derecha Emet Ve'ayashar, right? And that's why there's only Shiva Mitzvot Ben Enoach, right? They do only seven Mitzvot that are compared to the seven Midot. They don't, they, they don't tap into the Mohim, okay? So what do we give them? We give them the Midot. That's the Sheva Mitzvot Ben Enoach. We don't give the we don't give them the chokma bina vadaud or kete chokma bina. That's what they learn from us. So the the the, the seventy sarim, the seventy umot, or they follow Esav, or they they get inspired by Am Israel with the seven mitzvot ben Enoah. Now, in order to counterbalance all the, this impact spiritually, right of the seventy. Of the 70 umot with Nefesh Haya, Kadosh Baruch Hu gave to Am Israel Nefesh Wachun Shama. And through that, Am Israel counterbalanced all the, the power of the Nefesh Haya of the umot I don't understand the, the, I don't understand how he counterbalanced. That's why I didn't understand the part. Well, if you only have the Nefesh on one side of seven, 70 umot, right? Yeah. And I'm Israel, they have nefesh wahun shama. So the right. quality, the spiritual quality uh -huh, versus uh -huh, okay, okay. the physical, the, the, their spiritual quality, but they have more, they, they have you much less more. People. I'm sorry? You, that's why we, with less people, but more power. Exactly. Than more exactly. people, less power. That's what exactly. 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 At Khan, that's also, we finished uh, uh, page 59. Okay, that's where we are. Uh -huh. So at the, at the end of the page? Last yes. Three lines. Yes. Okay. 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 Ok